Uh, hey again, it's me again, Lewis. Uh, unofficially, it's me again, Lewis. I'm just off at another roadside cemetery, so gonna have a quick look around. Uh, there's really nothing distinguishing about it. It's kind of um, kind of a lost, lost and forgotten place, and I don't think there's anyone significantly buried, so it's definitely worth checking okay, out. So here we are. I'm not a hundred percent sure. There might have been something there. Uh, I believe this might have been the McKay Cemetery. I'll have to look this up later. But yeah, it looks like it's been long forgo forgotten. Peter McKay and Clark. Yeah, so as you can see, it's an older cemetery. I'm thinking this either might be the McKay Cemetery or the McLean Cemetery, so I don't know the details of this place, so I'm going to have to look it up, find out, and just put something in the description. McKay, Betsy, Isabella. Yeah, so. It is one of those long forgotten cemeteries. As you can see, John McLean lived for 90 years, wife Isabella lived for 70, so yeah as you can see it's kind of fallen in a state of decay and it's been forgotten but a lot of the monuments for the most part are holding up pretty good. Yeah, it's really hard to get any information because it's starting to weather off. So, it's really hard to tell who's been here. Erected by Congregation and Friends Ross. And so, there might have been a church around the area that put that together. And these pillar style stones are quite uh, interesting to look at and remarkable. Here, the bodies are probably still buried, but they probably gathered all these stones just to put them in place and keep them in place. That way it's easier to uh, sort of see who was there. Yeah, and this is a pretty old, old cemetery. So there's a lot of descendants from Scotland, from England, that came here and that are kind of just buried here. Yeah, and as you can see, yeah, so, that's a part I don't like, especially when I'm doing this stuff, is when I see these stones being toppled, but it's just probably the something to do with the land, and I really hope it's not someone don't, uh, stupid enough to actually come here and do this. But yeah. I've been wanting to check out the cemetery. McKay looks like to be the most common name here, so I'm probably thinking this might be the McKay Cemetery. Yeah, and as you can see, yeah, memory of James Murdoch. So it is a smaller cemetery, so. And it is along the way uh, to Bayfield, as you can see.
Yeah, and the detail on this stone is quite beautiful. Uh, it's very old font style, very classical. And I, yeah, and yeah, yeah, a lot of these sto stones are sort of, sort of falling in a state of disrepair, which is unfortunate. But with a lot of these long forgotten cemeteries, this is to be expected. It, it's just, no one's buried here anymore. I mean, there, no one's putting any new burials here, so it's just one of those things, uh, especially in the middle of the country. Uh, some people, some pretty decent lives that these people have lived, so. And that's unfortunate. This one individual died at the age of 18, so it is kind of an unfortunate thing. Yeah, so seeing, yeah, and this is kind of what it is, or how it is, so it is what it is with a lot of these old places, because I know that there's a lot of guys like my, like myself, but mostly random Andrew, uh, he comes into a lot of these places and just try to uh, bring new life, try to put a name to some, uh, people that were here before us. I'm not as good as Random Andrew with this stuff, but uh, he does a better job of doing this type of thing. Yeah, and that one kind of toppled, so I think it's mostly the sifting of the foundation more than anything. And it is what it is. So this will probably be a shorter video just because it is a smaller cemetery and it is off the side of the road. So and if anything, for the most part, I think this will be a wrap. And I will most likely get a few more shots of this place with my phone. And then I got to hop into um, my friend's car. He's staying warm in the car. I don't blame him. So it is kind of one of those things. And this is kind of a wrap for this video. So uh, again, if you like what you see with the cemetery videos I'm posting, uh, like, subscribe, follow, leave a comment. And I want to know what you think. If there's any places you think I need to look up, uh, let me know. I'll see if I can be able to make it down there. Uh, I don't drive, so as long as I'm able to get there with a, with a friend of mine, I'll most likely be able to check it out. Anyways, have a good one.